In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I polish dulled and oxidized paint in the most simple way possible, become more efficient and more profitable, while at the same time, over delivering for my customers. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So right now I am detailing a car that has not been maintained whatsoever. The paint was a wreck. In fact, here is a before picture of the paint. You guys can see the black grease, grime, all that stuff that had been built up. So now I have totally decontaminated, cleaned, clay bar, done an IPA wash, all of that to the paint. And now I have actually polished this entire side. So check it out. You guys can probably see in the camera, I hope it's picking it up. In the paint here, you can see the gloss has been restored. That shiny luster that you normally are used to seeing has been restored on the white paint that the clear coat kind of uh, uh, gives when it's waxed or something. But come to this side side. I've got Brie here as my camera lady today. What's up? Which is awesome. But on this side, you guys can tell, we're going to focus into the paint here. This has not been polished and you guys can see the dull look, the oxidized look. There's no gloss, there's no shine, there's no luster whatsoever to this part of the paint. So down here actually, I polished this lower part and you can see as the light hits it, if the sun hits it, there's that gloss, there's that shine. But up here, it almost almost looks like the clear coat is not there, though it is, it's just been oxidized, it's been dulled over the years of that grease grime, that dirt sitting on it, so now that it's clean, it's actually just a matte finish. So what am I gonna do about this? I'm gonna polish this matte finish, restore the gloss, and it's gonna dramatically improve the results and the look of this car, and I want my customer to be absolutely ecstatic when he comes, and so how am I gonna do that? So if you've been following the Wilson Auto Detailing channel for any sort of time, you know that I am in love with the Griot's Garage 6 inch dual action random orbital polisher. It is the most user friendly polisher that in my opinion is even on the market. It's readily available. It's only like $150, incredible price. Because I'm restoring the gloss and I'm not trying to get rid of a bunch of scratches or anything like that, I'm using Meguiar's 205 because it's a finishing polish. Uh, it's, it's called their ultra finishing polish and it has these glossing agents in it where it really restores that original luster. So that is why I'm going with this product. So most people as a rule use way too much polish. So I want to show you guys how much polish I'm actually going to use to polish this top panel of the door. I'm just going to kind of dot the polish just barely around the outer uh, area and the inner area of my pad just like that. So I'm not going to use any more than that. I mean, to some people they'd be like, that's way too little, uh, but and probably Meguiar's themselves would say to use more, but of course they want you to use more so that you can buy more of their product. This is more than enough to polish the whole top part of this panel. So all I'm going to do is first just kind of uh, spread it across the top so that I can kind of uh, it doesn't sling or anything like that. Now you can see I've got this black trim piece taped off right here, but I don't have these cracks and crevices taped off. I'm just going to be cautious with those. But all I'm going to do is polish just like I would normally if I was polishing any other car. Just going to move very slowly, let the DA, let the foam, and let the polish do the work for me. I'm not putting a ton of pressure, but maybe putting about maybe two to three pounds of pressure down, just medium pressure, and I want this to do the work, and uh, we're going to check out the results. And now to remove the Meguiar's 205, sometimes it's really kind of stuck or adhered to the paint. It's difficult to remove with just a dry microfiber. So I'm actually going to use Meguiar's Synthetic Express Spray Wax. I'm going to spray it on the panel that I just got done polishing, take my microfiber towel, and simply uh, remove it just like I would if I was removing wax from any other surface. Use my wet side of my microfiber to remove the first part, and then flip it to my dry side to buff off just the remaining uh, uh, door panel and so you guys can see here that now not only do I have a polished door and the gloss is restored, the luster is restored, that shine is restored, but now it's waxed and so I can stop there, I can leave it just spray wax or I can follow up with some sort of sealant, I can follow up with some sort of paste wax if that's what I want. But now come in closer and check out this 
surface. So I want you guys to be able to see the shine, the gloss, if you move to even like different angles, you can see how the light hits it. Whereas with this panel over here to the left, this has not been done. This is just a matte finish. There's no gloss to this. This is what it was and this is what it has become. So there's that huge contrast and it was so simple. All I did was use some Meguiar's 205, my DA, and bam, that original luster, that original shine is instantly restored. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the car. I'm going to go ahead and finish polishing. I'm going to actually uh, restore the black trim, do the windows, do the tires. I'm going to bring you guys in for the finished look of the completed vehicle. And done. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I actually pulled it in the garage, obviously. So we have this lighting above here and the outside light. But let me go ahead and show you guys some details about what is completely done. Obviously, I finished the tires. They're black and shined, you know, all that sort of stuff. I actually restored the black trim. All this black trim is totally uh, restored. I'll go around the car. You guys can see all this trim all the way up here. Even these little places that you step on with your feet right there. You guys can see that gloss, that outside light shining in, that light shining from the ceiling. You can see the gloss restored back to the paint, the light shining off of it. You guys see that mirror-like reflection, that waxed look that cars ought to have. So the car went from looking absolutely horrific, being covered in sap, bugs, different like grease, grime, dirt that gets collected from who knows what. The paint was actually covered in black stuff that was uh, from just, it's sitting outside and collecting dirt from the elements. And now the shine is restored. It was dulled, it was awkward. Oxidized. Now there's that glossy look left. Looks really, really fantastic. I know my customer is going to be absolutely ecstatic when he gets to see the paint because you could not see any gloss before this. And so anyways, guys, this just goes to show that something as simple as Griot's Garage 6-inch DA and some Meguiar's 205 can give you these kind of results. It really is incredible. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on the Griot's Garage 6 inch dual action random orbital polisher or some Meguiar's 205 or even the specific pad that I used in this video, definitely check out the description box right below this video. I'm going to hook up Amazon links to all of those products and tools. If you'd like to purchase any of those, definitely use the Amazon links in the description box because it does give this channel a very small commission, but it allows this channel to stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content on a daily basis just like this. If you like this video and it added some value to your life, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the video comments below. I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And of course, if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help you guys become more successful in your professional auto detailing world. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to take my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for being so involved here in the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And as always, from Luke, here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.